Hello everybody, and welcome. Today we are farming these Wigglies behind me, also known as Conkweeds. They are wonderfully weird, and this is a weird farm, and I love it. Okay, let me show you guys what we're working with. Huzzah! So, these are our Conkweeds, obviously. And we can breed them with sugar, melon, or apples. This is of course the heads, so we just feed them like a saw. Okay, and then around here, this is what we're working with. This looks fantastic, and uh, yeah, we just kind of carve away at them, <laughs> and then we breed them from the front again. I am using the uh, they give it quite a fair bit of XP as well. I'm using the uh, polarized stone uh, in order to pick up the drops, but uh, yeah, you guys can probably put down some water or whatever if you wish to do so and be careful not to carve too far in you don't want to ever kill the head we need to keep the head alive so that's what that looks like and then drops wise of course they give us concopied meat which we use to make the tropical curry not too fantastic it gives you jump boost and fall damage reductions and of course, the Explorer's Risotto, which is the one which is more important here. Let me take this out. Pop myself into survival. The Explorer's Risotto, when eaten, gives us fall resistance too, which the um, cooked concrete meat just by itself gives you as well, as well as the jump boost, the uh, which is not amazing. But more importantly, haste four, speed four, water breathing, and swift swimming, which is pretty damn good. Okay, right, so let me show you guys how we go ahead and build this here farm. Okay, so first things first, we'll need to find ourselves a jungle biome, which is where concrete spawn. So I am, of course, already in one of those, and I've got a concrete back there that I'll be using as an example. Right, so I'll pop myself into survival just to show you guys how this is going to go down. So... We need to approach the concrete with uh, the food in our hand, so sugar, apple, you know, um, melon. And this is because they won't actually aggro on us while we have this equipped. Otherwise, they are hostile. And once they start attacking you, they won't stop. So very important, you need to approach them with this food in your hand to stop them from aggroing on you. Otherwise, you'll just need to, you know, leave the area so it drops aggro, then come back with the food in your offhand. So let us do that now. Uh, let's see. Yep. They look great though. <laughs> uh, yeah. And now he will follow us. We can also, just for demonstration purposes, uh, because you probably not want to live in a jungle, let me do this. Mr. Rock, you come here. And then what we can do is I'm just gonna put this in my offhand. Hopefully, he hasn't aggroed to me already now. So that is still in my offhand. He hasn't attacked me, so he should count. Should be able to lead this guy. Let's see if he's gonna bite me. Oh, thank God he hasn't. Okay. So and then we can <laughs> do whatever this is. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is amazing. I'm flying a kite. Yay! Anyway, put him down in water um, because he will take full damage. So bloops. And then we can uh, safely take them to base like so. Okay. Let me dismiss. Right, so you come with me. I've got the sugar in my hand. I can't jump because I am in golem, uh, in golem armor, which is very, very frustrating at this point in this video. Trapdoor, save me. Yes. Okay. So I'll just need to get a trapdoor again. Anyway, um, you come along. Lovely stuff. And uh, what we'll do is, with this guy, we don't actually need the head. Concretes are really weird. Um, we will be killing this thing effectively and then we will uh, well we'll go from there let's see your ball your head gone okay now then we have the body it looks weird and it's gonna try and run away now we just split this guy up there you okay you one two yeah that's enough and one more just for good measure there we go right now we have the segments lovely stuff so these segments over time will grow their own heads which is, once again, weird. 
And um, then we can use them, so we'll have four concubines like this in a moment. I'll only need three though, so uh, yeah, let me do that. Put myself back into a creative. Then we'll need to manipulate these guys into where our farm will be. I need a lead, because I've lost my lead. And let me just grab all three of these guys before they run all over the show. They can climb up walls and stuff like spiders, so uh, yeah. Be careful when you uh, build your farms and so on. And now I'll just need to build a little location. Restart by building it like this. Uh, one more there. Cool. Let's build over here. Okay, and then we make this like this. And that, that, that. One more. Four. Let's see. Ah, two's fine. Is it? Yeah, two's fine. And then fence gates here. Oh, actually, let me get them in first. Ha ha ha. Trapdoor. This front part is where their heads will be. I put a trapdoor here so we can block their vision later on. Now, we'll just need to kind of shove this guy in there. I still got a lead. No, nope. threw it away yet again. Try this lead again. Actually, I can pop this guy in to start with. Get in there. Come on. You... Son of a... Come on, I know you're one wide. I know you can go in there. I know you can. Ha ha! Okay. Now just give him a little love tap. And we put a fence gate there. Cool, he's trapped. Now, the same with these other ones. Come here. You, over here. Come on, before he grow a head and you start... Well, I'm a creative, so he won't. But for you guys... He'll grow ahead and he'll start biting your ass. And they give withering, not sure if I said already. So, not very nice. Not a very nice bite at all. There is number two. Number three. Come here. Okay. Hey. Come, come, come. There. He's kind of overshooting the uh, hole every time. But, anyways. So, yeah, these little guys. Look pretty weird, these segments by themselves. I um, can only describe them as little walking buttholes, to be honest with you. But anyway, they're wonderfully weird, and this is awesome! So from here, we'll just need to wait for them to grow their heads. This is the important part of the farm. The back side here, you can just, you know, enclose this as you wish. That's sort of not really as important, but yeah, I guess we can just add some glasses, make it look all nice while we wait for them to grow their little heads. In any case. So we can just kind of build it like so. This will be high enough for us. No. These guys are really annoying. And we can just kind of da, 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 do something like this. While we wait for those guys to become front part centipedes. Also known as heads. Okay, let me go a bit further. They only grow around, what is it? I think 12 segments, then they stop growing. So once they reach about 12 somewhere, I'm not sure about the exact number, then just stop feeding them and it means it's time to carve away. And that'll be it for now. You guys can build yourself a little door in here as you wish, just for aesthetics at this point in any case. And now, let me see if they have a head yet. No, not yet. Okay, I'm going to AFK here for a while up until they've grown their heads and then we shall continue. Okay, so there we go. They have finally grown their heads. It took quite a while just so that you guys know. So patience is key. Now from here we can just feed them like in the start of the video and then I'll just keep on feeding them just like this and then I'll skip ahead once they've uh, grown a little. They'll grow one segment each time we feed them is what happens here. Okay. There we go. I fed them quite a couple of times, and they are basically ready for harvesting at this stage. So yeah, there's quite a lot of them in there, as you can see, and uh, uh, they do that, by the way. So in order to um, to move them around, like whether they're aggroed or you have food in your hand, just go on this side and then equip the food, and their bodies kind of follow like that. Pretty creepy, but uh, yeah, you can see their little twerky bodies kind of doing the jiggle as, uh, as they follow us. So just stand on this side, whether they're aggroed or you have food in your hand. And that's why I use these trapdoors. 
except for that one, which is obviously facing. Oh, I just messed up. Right. I just messed that up. But that's why I use the trapdoors to um, block their vision, pointing that way when I put it down to stop them from moving. Otherwise, they'll be aggroed and they uh, follow us and their bodies kind of swing around. So, this one is three for now, I guess, because I destroyed the trapdoor like a noob. But the rest of them are still in the. Uh, well, position we need them to be. So, yeah, let's just do that. You are now free, I suppose. If we just get this one to flip around as well. Yeah. Okay. Just so their bodies are in the place we want to carve them. And then, yeah, basic details, details. From here, we can just go ahead and let the uh, carving begin. And that is basically that. As long as you don't kill the heads and you don't destroy the trapdoor like I just did, then you'll be all good. And that is how this farm works. <laughs> they are amazing, I quite like them. <laughs> that looks like he's aggro to the wasp. Anyway, that's good to know. Anyway, that is this farm, guys. Cool, a nice weird one for you. I did enjoy making this farm. So yeah, that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy animal crafting, and this is Zirger saying goodbye. Cheers.